Hey guys, it's Bob Boob and Josh Boob. Say hi everybody, Josh. Hello. Hey, we are doing a video tour. See this road right here? That says Dogwood Lane. Now we're on Summerson Mountain Road here right now, but we're doing a video tour here for, I think it's 143, isn't it? Look, they got Jesus right here in front of them, Josh, hanging there. But when you guys come here, you're gonna turn on this road Dogwood and you're gonna follow it around here. And the reason I'm showing you this, because this place is, if you GPS it, It'll get you here, but then there's all these weird wonky turns and uh, curves, and you'll be doubting yourself then. And uh, but when you uh, now, kids, if you're watching this, do not drive it. Well, actually, if you're kids, you probably shouldn't be driving in the first place. But um, when you we're in Metropolis of what Chapman Township, Josh, here aren't we? I but, believe so. But you'll see North Bend, N North Bend, North Bend, PDA. Bedroom community of Renova PA and Heiner PA. But when we come up here, you're gonna see, sorry guys here, I'm trying to drive and not hit deer here while I'm out here. Lots of deer, lots of wildlife. So let's see here. So you're gonna come to this beautiful house here. And um, yeah, we're almost there guys. Sorry, this, this will seem a little long for you, but you'll be glad that you have this when you come looking for this place. See this beautiful home over here to the right super awesome man that owns that definitely make friends with him because he's got a beautiful home so that means he's probably got a fridge full of food but then you're going to start on this gravel road and then sunflower is going to cut off here in just a second now i'll keep talking here while we're doing this here now this this property itself financing can be a little tricky for these cabins huh josh um you get you typically either got to do cash or local bank financing or a lot of people will even use uh, equity in their property but see right there josh see That's right sunflower there lane. Ding, 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 ding. see this guy's here where my finger is this is sunflower lane and then you're gonna see that more looks like somebody's driveway but this is actually sunflower lane and you're welcome just drive down through here now i got my super cool awesome soccer mom minivan with me but in the inclement weather, it's probably best to have a four-wheel drive vehicle instead of an all-wheel drive soccer mom minivan. Hey, don't downplay this minivan. This you, thing's a beast. No, this minivan done is good, Josh. That's exact. You're exactly right. This thing's here, awesome. Then. All right, now the first thing you're gonna come to here. Now, see how I, I see there was a fork in the road. You want to go to the left here. See where that gate is there? Okay, guys, hold on a second. I'm going to push pause. And if you come here yourself, you are welcome to open that gate. Just please, please, please shut the gate when you're done with it. But I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we just went through the gate. Now, when you come through this road, you're going to look to your left and to your right. And you're going to see this clearing. See this here? Field area. Well, what this is, this is part of the gas line. So you just cross this over. You can see it's kind of a rough road. If you guys want... House of the Modern Conveniences. This is not the property for you, but you see right there, there's a road. You can follow that all the way down through the gas line. But as we're driving here, we're still on, believe it or not, they still call this Sunflower Lane, though I don't really even see. I know the ding and stinks, doesn't it? Then I should have put my seatbelt on. Don't you just want to strangle people that... Safety first, Bob. Safety first, Bob. I know. So sorry. Um, but this is still Sunflower. And then when you come up here, boy, Josh, I'm thinking it's this first place on the left, right? Or correct, or left. I shouldn't say left and then right, because that would be very confusing, huh? We'll know it to see she, it. Would, we'll I know it to yep. see it. Yep, this and it's got a one, a four, and a three on it, I think, too, doesn't it? Okay, guys, so you see where we're at here? Okay, I'm going to push pause, and we're going to get out and continue the video tour here. Hold on. Okay, everybody, we are at 143 Sunflower, Sunflower Lane, and I'm here with my real estate son, Josh Boob. Hey, Woo. say hi, Josh, everybody. Josh, what a cool place if you're, like, into outdoors, Hunter. You know, kind of oh, show yeah. them around, give them the 360 tour. How, got much, a, how much ground is he with this again, Joe? We got about five acres, five just acres. under five. Wow. And that's north there. That's north. Make the sound. D ding, 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 yep. ding. Show him your finger. Don't give him the finger. Just show him, <laughs> show, show him with your finger. Yeah, that's, that would be inappropriate. We These are appropriate boob videos. <laughs> There's woodshed. So, so can, west that wood. way. Got fire pit right in front of you, bud. Check it out. Yep. So you gotta have a fire pit if you are. So then this and that's south. South southern view. So if okay. we got a copy of the tax map, but I believe a majority of the five acres is southern, correct? Yeah, Across right. the road. Sunflower Lane. 
Um, I think it was about three and a half ish. Three, that, that's right. More of it is over there. So all that level land that's got the ferns and the big trees and stuff, that's all part of the property. And then we got us a true mobile home. Mobile. That's mobile it. Mobile home. Yes. And speaking of mobile, yeah. I got mobile service out here. You know what? That's a good point, yep. Buck, because boy, oh boy, like sometimes you want that place out in the country, but... You still want to be able to get a hold of the family and business yep. needs to get a hold of I, you. Know? I have Xfinity and I got two bars right now. So oh, wow. And I, I had pretty good, I mean, we were able to make a phone call while we were out here. It was pretty good. Oh, very good. Yeah, here, come on around here, Josh. Well, so guys, what we'll show you. Now, this way is east. Now, if you keep going through, now you got to make friends with the neighbor over here, though. But do uh, you know what's on the other side of that property there, Buck? Uh, oh, that's the uh, state game lands state over game there. Land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and look, this is a true mobile home. Look, it's still, <laughs> it's got, still got the lights. It's still got the tail lights <laughs> on here. But this bad boy, it's in as good a shape as it was when it was. Oh, first sure built. is. I yeah. Mean, probably better. The, the owners have taken such good care of this property. But I saw on the, um, you know how you can do the Onyx Hunter or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I clicked on the state game lands, you guess how many acres it said it was? Oh, I'm so curious. How many? Forty-six thousand. That's acres. insane. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so now here we don't have a septic system, but Josh, look what we got. We got a poopy shed. We got the old fashioned privy outhouse. And now look, this it is does have electric out here. Pretty fancy. Watch this here. Oh, the bulb's out. All right, so when you get the bulb turn on, or maybe there's a breaker I didn't turn on for that then. Ooh. But yep, yeah, has power. So you can a little plug here. So if it's cold, you can plug in a little electric nice. heater and or charge yeah. your phone. Yeah, if you really, yeah, if you charge your phone. While charge you're your phone. And the outhouse. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's in really good shape too. That should. Yeah. You know, just to think, years ago that was normal for even in town living. Yeah. And people would get that fancy stuff. Show it's on plumbing. It's on block there. What's that? Yeah, it's showing it's on block. Oh, little yeah, block. Good foundation on it. And, uh, cost cost you a buck to go in there. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Oh dear. But again, oh dear. <laughs> That's a good one. That yeah, thank you, thank you. I love it, I love it. My dad raised me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank God for your mother in your life. That's oh for yeah. Sure. So here you can see kind of what the, the length of it is. I didn't look that up yet, Josh. So on the, the tax map will get, or I'm sorry, the spec sheet will get from the tax card, the square footage and stuff then, but it's uh, it's that long right there. It's that long? You can yep. see how long that is right there. I don't know, what would you probably say? 10, 20, 30, maybe I, I was thinking 40, but. Yeah, maybe 35, 40 feet. Now, Okay, so you don't have a septic, but you do have an outhouse, and you, you do have power. You yep, have and you do, and here. there is a well. There is a well. How well is the well doing? Is it Ooh, doing well? I don't know. Doing well. And so here, now it says on here PPL, Whoop. Josh. So it's got uh, electric service here. Sure. So this is what they call a disconnect. I don't see it marked. I'm going to say 100 amp service, but we'll have to maybe check the box inside. Yep. So you got power. I'm going to show a little more of the southern since that's Look. a lot of the. Still got the tongue on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, sometimes they have a mark I don't see. I haven't seen anything yet that gives us the the, the year, but. Yeah, maybe in by the utilities, and, by the furnace. And again, just lots of wildlife out here. Deer, turkey, uh, pheasants. Uh, what else did I hear was out here? Of course, squirrels and bunnies. And I'm sure there's a bear or two out here. We're out in the. More animals than people. That's right. And that's the goal, isn't it? That's the. Well, and for those of you maybe not familiar with North Bend, North Bend is north of Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. So if you need to get groceries or whatever, most people will head to, well, actually stop in Lock Haven before heading up to North Bend. They have the Walmarts, and even though there's no S in Walmart, we call it the Walmarts. And, uh, of course, there's Lock Haven University. There's a hospital there. There's lots of stores. But you head up 120 north, about 30 miles, and that's Renova. But if you go that far, you just went too far. You actually want to stop in North Bend and make a right on Summerson Mountain Road. And that'll bring you out here then. Some of the best fishing and hunting and outdoor wreck stuff around. That's exactly right. So here's the well. Now, I didn't take the cap off, but sometimes underneath the cap, they'll mark how deep the well is. But I just asked it, and the well said it's doing well. Yeah. There is a little crawl space underneath there, probably a little storage. Yep. Little storage I did peek in there. there, yep. But yeah, come on in, Josh. I'll show you guys around. So this, uh, again, it's just a nice place to relax. Got a little porch here you can throw a couple chairs out on. We did show you the fire pit here earlier. And actually, Josh, they don't have it set up right now, but you can actually set up to shoot your bow up here for archery. Oh, heck yeah. Um, and of course, there's enough area here you can do volleyball net, different things like Axe throwing. You can oh, get a, that's, that's the, ask me how to do that later. That's the latest fun thing. <laughs> 
Oh, Josh, Josh, come here once. Look, show the audience this right here. Look right down to the right. This was a Ritz craft out of Shimokin, Pennsylvania. So that's where that came from. I said some sort of guy can't read that small print, but no joking. That's no, a Shimokin. It's Shimokin. This, this camp is Shimokin. So you can see here we have Eden Kitchen. And I think pretty much what we see is what's going to stay, right, Josh? There might be some personal stuff that they want to get out of here, but I think the equipment and the silverware and the furniture is all part of the sale. We'll double check with the owners in case I'm giving you bad information there. Josh, go check yourself out in the mirror. Look at that big mirror. You know, you want to make sure you look okay in the morning because I know you spend an hour on your hair. Because no, isn't that one of your major budget light line items is hair products yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually embarrassing uh yeah how much no gets spent okay. on that so, electric heat electric heat we, and... yeah, yes right right now there there was an oil furnace in here at one time but the oil the, that's not hooked up they just use the electric baseboard when they come when they come up in to take the chill off i suppose if somebody got this serviced and uh you'd have to add an oil tank then you could look into doing that but Yep, to my knowledge, they're they're using. But for our heat source, yep. we're just putting we're just putting electric. So here's one of the two bedrooms that's here. Um, don't give us any details on the proper. I'll show this bedroom while you look at that. Okay, go ahead. So we have two bedrooms. Oh, I think that had one. something more to do with the with either an oil tank or whatever to show you what the. Oh, okay. So hey, we're exploring the property too, guys. We're, 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 this is fun. Oh. Bathroom. Like you have building closets and shelves. Yep. Yep. And, now, again, the septic's uh, not hooked up here, so you don't really have that. But sometimes I've seen them run lines from here out to the outhouse. Okay. But you'd you'd have to do that kind of stuff there. But you do have a well here, so there is water. And, and bedroom then, number two? Yeah, I guess we'll call that the master bedroom. Yeah, that's or the definitely the largest. Bedroom. But the entire back wall is nothing but closet and drawers, so lots of yeah. storage. Yeah, a lot of built-in. Very, very good. Looks very nice. I guess that's probably a, either a double or a queen queen bed there so you could comfortably sleep well have two there probably two there and then yes here you got two couches so six seven people pretty comfortably sure you know, oh yeah 27 kids if you got kids and grandkids and stuff then they can could you just see we could, we could probably put the whole the boob kids in, in in just this living room yeah they get tents in the yard yeah, yeah all right guys so we've showed you the outside the inside um we talked to you a little bit about in the ride in financing's a little tricky. You almost have to do kind of like a lot loan, but we've talked to some lenders about financing us. So if you if you don't have the ability to pay cash, that's okay. There's three or four other options. Just reach out to Josh Boob. Josh, what's your telephone number? I always feel we were talking off camera. Yeah. I'm Josh Boob, 570-772-4764, or find me on Facebook, any of the social media platforms. I'm the only Josh Boob in the world. Yeah, nobody else would claim that name, but uh, you guys can call him. He still has me blocked, so I'm not. You know, last time him. I looked it up, though, there was eight Bob boobs in the world. Hey, isn't that you wild? Know you know what? God, God created us in His image, then you know. <laughs> but eight times God went, "Whoops!" Yeah, very, very loosely. Very loosely. <laughs> hey, I hope you've had some fun with this video tour. We had fun showing you. This is a really neat cabin on top of the mountain near State Game Lands. So if you're looking for a cabin, some a getaway place, or Maybe if you're looking for a year-round place, I guess you just have to look and maybe doing a perk test and maybe add an aseptic system here if you want to. Or just use the outhouse. That's fine, too, then. Anything else to tell them, Josh? That's all I got. All right. You guys have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.